If you're like me, you probably crashed a whole bunch of times in Modern Warfare 2 since it's come out. They have all these different drivers to download and install. And even Infinity Ward has been saying that uh, these drivers aren't yet quite ready and that you kind of had to roll back. Well, earlier today, they actually tweeted out uh, for Modern Warfare 2 PC players. Go check out this tweet, which is from Beanox. Beanox is part of the what it's one of the Activision uh, Call of Duty studios. And so uh, this tweet right here, it says the latest NVIDIA hotfix addresses some critical issues with Modern Warfare 2 on PC. So make sure you're running the game on drivers 526.61 download available now. And when you click on that download, though, it takes you to this website site and again and you're like okay 526.61 and most of you including myself we all run uh, geforce experience to help with all of our drivers but if you uh you know click check for updates 526.61 is not here you only have 526.47 and so i was like i i don't how, how are we supposed to do this so uh we're gonna just download this and install it live so you can follow along in this video and you'll be able to have it and uh my friend div and we're gonna have him here in just a second he actually downloaded and installed this and he doesn't get crashing he has better frame rate. He has like basically zero hitching lag. All the issues that were in Modern Warfare 2 initially, according to him, are pretty much very well fixed. So yeah, let me go bring him on here. For those of you who don't know, Div, he actually uh, grinds out all of our camos. Uh, I'll leave uh, a link to his uh, Twitter below. You guys can go hit him up for any sort of camo services if that interests you. But uh, Div, thank you so much for, for helping out today on how to install this hotfix driver. Okay, so step one, you're gonna click on the, click here to download. You see the hyperlink in the middle of the page? Yeah, okay, got yep, it. Click here to download. All right, I've done it. 813 megabytes, dude, this thing's massive. Yes. All right, and then secondly, it's done. Open basically. our Discord DM, that oh. secondary link that I sent you. Okay, Discord DM, secondary link. Okay, so let me go there, I see it. All right, so this is the link. Okay. Wagnar um, is... Soft Forum. Yes. Oh, look, this is a direct driver uninstalling software. It's it's the only one on the market really that's open source and free, so you don't have to worry about anything. It's also the one that works the best. Okay. So you're gonna click on the official download link. Okay, official of download here. Okay, got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that one download instantly. Yes, it's a very small file because it's a zip. Okay. So, for anyone who doesn't have an extract service like 7-zip or anything of that nature, you will have to download. I have an executable file of, well. on this one. Okay, so open that. Okay. And extract. Downloads, extract, yep. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to open your files. Okay. Go to downloads. Okay. And you see... The DDUV18, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so click on this. Double click, yes. Oh, okay, okay. I have mine set to single and... click because it saves me minutes over the course of my lifetime. I'm weird. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, and you'll select yes to all. Okay. Destination folder already contains process file, blah, blah, blah. With this one, yes to all. Got it. Yes mm -hmm. to all. So with this one, DDU, Striber, yes to all. Got it. Okay. It will replace it and should extract it to the downloads file. Now, sometimes it will bug and be at the very, very bottom. Very, very bottom. Oh, this, uh, D -D oh, this one right here. Got it, mm -hmm. DDU V18. Okay, so this one, okay, v okay, I see it now. Okay, I'm clicking on this. Okay, you're going to open display driver uninstaller. Okay, got it, done. I clicked it. Oh my goodness, DDU closed programs known to interfere with, uh, okay, MSI afterburner, yeah, RTSS, okay, that's fine. Okay. And you want those things to be offline so that they don't reset if you have an overclock applied to your PC once you're uh, doing the DDU. You don't want to fry anything. Got it. Absolutely not. You should have a backup. Like this is good. They actually are trying to help people out. I'm just gonna click OK and pretend I read it. Okay. Nice. Um and then you're just going to close that. Got it. Close. Okay. So got it. DD is detected. You're not in safe mode for better cleanup. Is reboot into safe mode. Do I need to do that? No, absolutely not. Okay, all right. Uh, safety be damned. We're going in head first live. Okay. What it automatically do? creates a restore point in your system before the program runs anyway. Okay, got it. So you're going to select device type in the right hand. This one right here? Yes. GPU. GPU. Okay. And it should auto detect that you are on an NVIDIA yep, driver. Yeah, it says that. I did press a button a little bit too early, so please make sure before you press this button, you are ready to have the program run. It will restart your gaming PC. I jumped the gun. I got lucky. I pressed the right button. But uh, anyway, yeah, you can you can watch it. You can watch all this horror unfold now. And your next step is going to be clean and restart. Clean don't and restart right here. This one at the very top. Yes, but don't I click, click it yet. Oh, don't. go. Oh. Okay. 
Oh no! <laughs> okay, that's no! fine. Your, your, <laughs> your PC is gonna run. It's gonna run the program and it's gonna reset. Okay. As you can see, it's gonna take a couple of minutes. Yes, it is. Okay, got that's it. Why. Okay, so now I need to go back to the. I'll explore. You go open your files again. Okay. You're gonna go to download. Yeah. And you're gonna click on the NVIDIA driver. Yep. 526.61 that okay. you previously installed. Got it. Okay, clicking on it. Okay. So now if I just clicked on this previously, what would have happened if I didn't do the DDU anything? It would have installed 526.61 on top of all of your previous driver okay. versions. Got so it. So it would be trying to render two drivers at once. You, you'd probably get 100 frames. Really? Okay. On your PC. Video yeah. graphics driver only because I, I already have uh, GeForce. No, you will have to reinstall GeForce. Force. Okay, got it. Okay, agree and continue. Express. Yeah, Express is fine. Okay, it's yes. installing. Okay, it's really doing it all. We're, yes. we're, we're really doing this. Completely reset everything. All of your HD audio settings, your physics software, which is uh, essentially what gives the graphics card the information to render. Mm -hmm. um, that's your recoil, your yeah. ge general movements yeah. on screen. Everything, yeah. It's completely redoing it all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm doing another it's, restart. It's like a factory reset. Now, the way in which we did this, if they don't have an integrated graphics on their PC, are they screwed? No, it will use like a very, very, very small amount to display just a screen. That's why I told you to not screen share. Oh, um, I see. They will struggle a little bit once you reboot the PC, but that's just because it's an older card. That's sure. okay. You might go down to 30 FPS instead of 60, and that's fine. But just install the graphics driver anyway. Got it. Yeah, so completely sign me out of NVIDIA and everything. Yes. Okay. All right, I'm in. And then now it says drivers. Interesting. So I looks like I'm on an unreleased driver in the uh, NVIDIA GeForce experience. Yes. Wow. Yes, okay, so we literally just skipped it. And um, they just haven't, they haven't pushed this over to GeForce yet, it sounds like. Yes. Um, it came out Six, eight wow. hours ago. Oh, even the release date is wrong. Yeah, it's this is bugged. But now you're saying that literally everything should be fixed. Yep. But it looks like are my let's let's see if my colors are off on Nvidia control panel. I think it is. Yes. I think I have to reset it all. Okay, good thing I I did my uh, graphics uh, video earlier. Nvidia control panel. Yep. Okay, that's good. Desktop color. 55. Yeah. When I said resets everything. It resets everything. 1.15 digital vibrance is. I believe it was 75. Either 70 or 75, but that's good enough. Yep, there we go. Colors back and restored. Okay. And it's going to reset all my. Uh, I guess it's going to restart, uh, reset everything in my game too. So let's let's go check it out. Let's go see how much FPS we have right now. But according to them, according to a lot of people, the, the crashing happens either a lot less or none at all so it'll also reduce color stuttering which is a major problem mm -hmm. in modern warfare 2 um many times whenever you'll like round a corner there'll be like little black dots all over the screen and then you know your screen will flicker my that's all completely fixed. issue was not that it was more of uh whenever i got into a fight my fps would drop by 30. yes and that it was like ridiculous well. all right let me go back to my settings Graphic, full screen, exclusive, 165. Haters look good to go. Quality, apply. There we go. Custom DLS. Oh yeah, everything's on. <laughs> everything's on high now. So now we're gonna just actually, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna just put this back down to min. What GPU are you on, Mike? 3080 Ti. I'm also on a 3080 Yes. Uh, we're going to turn this there. 50. It's a bit slow. Very low, 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 low. Spray is on. Uh, turn off, 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 off. Low reflex on. Off, 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 zero. Good. Apply. View 120 wide. Least, least, least. Okay, so only reset the quality tab. Nice. Okay. 
Got it. So the quality tab is the only one. So I just had to reset all this stuff. And before you go into game, I would go into graphics and then into quality. Or I'm sorry, into display. Okay. And restart your shader optimization. Okay, so it's worth it's worth restarting shaders. Got it. Okay. So then we'll go to graphics and then shader restart shader. Restart. Alright. Let's uh, cross our fingers. Oh my something's off. You've been disconnected. Oh no. Status gold flake. Put to desktop, restart. Code gold flake. Oh, okay. Um, have you reset your game? Yeah. Can you tab out for me and open NVIDIA control panel? Um, there should be an option under manage 3D settings. Okay. There it's loading. Okay, it's there. That will allow you to change your power management mode. Select either high or ultimate performance. If you okay, have program settings, global settings feature. I only have I only have Modern Warfare. I don't have Modern Warfare 2. It just is Modern Warfare 2019. Well, the status would remain the same across the three. Global settings, power management mode, prefer maximum performance. Okay, all right, that's fine. I'm gonna exit. Okay, so now we're gonna go here. We're gonna go to graphics. Oh, render. I need to change my render resolution to 100. Oh. That's terrible. There we go. So far, so good. We're going to try one. Oh, 2.30 in the cattle point. car. Uh, after this bike, I'll show you some secret sauce stuff. Okay. 235, 30. Yeah, no, this is solid, dude. Good. What? Throwing semtex. It's sad. Very crispy. Yeah, I'm like locked at like it's well over 200 instead of like a 180 lock. It's like a. I'm right on ammo. It's, it's so far so good. Right now I'm on farm. The cool. the the training farm. Oh, I got sniped. <laughs> right on. It's good. All right. Well, so far I really like this 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 driver update. I think uh, this is the one. I haven't crashed any, and. Uh, Things are pretty smooth. Even while I'm getting shot, I'm, I'm not getting the uh, the the massive FPS loss that I was previously. Frame pitching is a hell of a drug. Yeah, that was like not fun. So far, so good. Okay, I'm gonna quit and. So there you have it, chat. Uh, it's basically the thing that you need to do. Uh, make sure to uh, do a clean install if you want the cleanest experience. You could try doing the uh, driver on top of a driver experience if you really want to, but. Um, this one worked perfectly for us. Took a little bit of time, and uh, but so far, worth it. Thanks, Div. Yeah, you got it, bud.